Many Utah farmers are making some tough decisions right now as we prepare to head into more drought conditions this spring and the summer. Yeah, new, new specialist Mike Anderson explains how some farmers are making expensive decisions to better conserve water in the future. Willard Bay right now is about 60% lower than it was this time last year and coupled out with a less than stellar snowpack and we could see a very similar summer to what we saw in 2021. We may take for granted the produce in our grocery stores that makes its way onto our dinner tables. We're definitely in a drought cycle and it's really hard. Kenny McFarland is one of the many farmers who make up Onions 52 in Syracuse. He says now entering a third year of drought, he's had to make some big changes. So we've changed what the crops that we grow and we've also changed the way that we water our crops. Over the past six years, he switched his hundreds of acres of onions over to drip irrigation, which cuts down the water lost through evaporation, sending it directly to the crops, but it's expensive. It depends on the crop, how much it conserves, but a general number that I've come up with is about half of the water. It works well with onions, but not with all crops. McFarland says tough decisions have to be made now in future housing developments and in how we use water. I'm young enough that I'm concerned for the next 35 years. That's really what keeps me up at night is what are my kids going to do to be able to farm successfully? McFarland says he believes homeowners should be able to use their water just as farmers have their water rights, but he says better planning needs to happen before Utah's growth gets out of hand. It is really up to state and local governments and also water providers to make sure that in 20 and 30 and 100 years from now, we are sustainable as a community. Many water districts still have to meet to come up with their restrictions for the season, and it could still all change depending on how the next several weeks go. But Weaver Basin Water Conservancy District has said they anticipate about 40% cutbacks in watering for agriculture. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.